Hello everyone and welcome back to One Arm Robber. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to loot the Liberty Hawk Bank stealthily using three different methods. And those methods being the noob way for all you players that are first starting out, the pro way for all you players that have some experience, and the expert way for all you players that just wanna have a challenge. And the first method we're gonna start off with is the noob way. And all you're gonna need for this method is a basic lockpick and a suppressed weapon. So without further ado, let's get this one started. Once we start this heist, you wanna grab your kit, Grab your duffel bag, grab your lockpick, and you wanna head to the right of the bank. Now, instead of taking the first door that we see on the left, we're gonna go around the bank up here, take a left, go up these stairs, and head to the roof of the bank. Now, instead of lockpicking this first door that we see, what we're gonna do is leave our duffel bag outside, open up this window, and hop right through it. Next, hugging a left, take out your silent gun, shoot the camera, and shoot the guard that goes to investigate. After doing so, you want to grab his phone and do the check-in over here. Now, just to be safe, we're going to zip tie some civilians. This first one next to the water cooler. The next one is in this office. We're going to zip tie him and make sure you grab the utility key card off his desk. Also, while we're at it, since we're on the inside of this, we're just going to unlock this door, grab our duffel bag and place the key card inside the duffel bag. Next, we're going to go down here to this conference room, open up this door, go inside here and zip tie this civilian. Now the next thing that we're gonna wanna do is go down here to the security room, take out our lock pick and unlock this door to the security room. This will give us access to the cameras and after we take out the guard inside and do the check-in, we won't have to worry about cameras the rest of the heist. Once we take him out and we do the check-in over here and now we don't have to worry about any cameras throughout the rest of the heist. Now we're gonna take our duffel bag and we're gonna head downstairs. Once we get down here, this first door on the left, we're gonna open it. Make sure there's no guard in here. If there isn't, he's in the break room. Just open up this door and take him out in the break room. Take his phone and we're gonna head upstairs the way we came and do the check-in at the top of the staircase. Next, we're gonna take our duffel bag, take our lock pick and unlock the door to the manager's office. After we unlock it, we're gonna open it Go inside here and zip tie the manager. Make sure you grab the vault key card on his desk and place it in our duffel bag. Next step is we're gonna head downstairs. We're gonna go right through this door. Now the first guard we're gonna take care of is the guard on the left. Grab his phone and do the check-in over here. Also what we're gonna do is go over here just to be safe and zip tie this civilian. Now, after doing that, we're going to take our duffel bag, head over here. And what we're going to do next is take out this guard. A civilian's going to get alerted because we shot him. We're going to zip tie him, take his phone, and do the check-in over here. While we're also at it, we're going to go into this office and zip tie this civilian. The next step is we're going to take our duffel bag, head over here to the utility room, take the utility key card, and open up the utility room. Next, we're going to flip the switch and turn off the alarm. We're going to take our duffel bag, and before we go to the door outside the vault area, we're actually going to unlock this door from this side, which should give us access to our van. Next, what we're going to do is come down here, take our lockpick out, and unlock this door to give us access to the outside of the vault area. Once we have that unlocked, we're done with the lockpick. We can open up this door, take our vault key card, scan the vault door, and it should open right up. Now you can either fill up your duffel bag full of loot, or you can use this conveniently placed cart, take it inside the vault area, and put all the loot on this cart. Now once you have all the loot and you're ready to leave, just slowly back out of the vault door, wiggle it around, try to get the cart loose. After a while, I'll come through, we'll go out the cell doors, and what we're gonna do is take an immediate left from that door that we opened up before, go out backwards, and now it's just a straight shot back to the truck. And we'll simply back up the ramp. And now we have all the loot from the Liberty Hawk Bank back in our truck and we can end the heist, thus completing the first method to loot the Liberty Hawk Bank stealthily. Now moving on to method two, the pro method. Now for the pro method, the only tools that you'll need is a lock pick, a hacking device, and a suppressed weapon. And when we first start this heist, you wanna grab your kit, grab your duffel bag that has your hacking device and your lock pick. And from the truck, you wanna take an immediate right. The first door that we see on the left, we're gonna take our lock pick out and unlock it. After we're done unlocking it, we're gonna take our suppressed weapon, shoot this camera, and take out the guard that comes to investigate, grab his phone, and do the check-in on the wall over here. Next, what you wanna do is go into this office and zip tie both the civilians inside. The next step, head down this hallway, take out your suppressed weapon, take out this guard, grab his phone, and do the check-in on the wall over here. Afterwards, you wanna grab your duffel bag, Head over to the utility room door, 
take out your hacking device and hack the utility door. After you're done hacking the utility door, place it back in your duffel bag, go inside and disable the alarm. Next, grab our duffel bag, head down the same hallway yet again, place it on the ground for right now, take your suppressed weapon and we're gonna shoot the camera from inside. Doing so should not trigger any of the guards. Next, take your lock pick, unlock this door. And after we're done unlocking this, we're done with the lock pick. Take our hacking device and hack the vault door. And after we're done hacking the vault door, we're done with the hacking device. And like method one, all we're gonna do is take the cart from outside and put all the loot on top of it. And this method's a lot faster with the hacking device since we don't have to get both the key cards for the vault door or the utility room. And once we have all the loot, we're gonna take the same route as we did before in method one, go out the vault door, go down the hallway, take a left, go out this door, and now it's just a straight shot back to the truck and we get in the heist. Now this was the pro method of looting the Liberty Hawk Bank stealthily. Now onto the final method, the expert method. The only tools that you'll need is a battering ram, C4, and a suppressed weapon. When we first start this heist, you wanna grab your kit, grab your battering ram, and from the truck, you wanna take an immediate right and go to the first door on the left, use your battering ram and we're gonna break it open. We're gonna hide behind this wall and wait for this guard to move so we can get access to the utility room door. Now us breaking that door will alert our guard from upstairs to come down, but we won't have to worry about him. All we're gonna worry about is this guard on the right here. Once this guard moves, sneak in right behind him and break open the utility room door. Afterwards, turn off the alarm. What we can do next is actually shoot this guard. The civilian will come to check. We'll zip tie him like so, grab the phone and do the check-in on the wall. Afterwards, we're gonna zip tie this civilian over here, take out our pistol and shoot this camera. It should alert another guard. We're gonna take him out like so, grab his phone and do the check-in. Before we go back to our truck and get our C4, what we're gonna do is shoot this camera. And now we're gonna head back to the truck, grab a duffel bag with three C4 in it. After we got our C4, we're gonna head back to the doorway yet again, head down the hallway and use our first C4 on this door. Now surprisingly, after this blows up, it should not alert any of the guards like so. And we can do that with the next two locks on the vault door this time. And after doing so, the vault door should open up. And like before, we're gonna take our loot cart from outside the vault area and put all the loot on top of it. Now with this method, we save ourselves a little bit more time, not using the hacking device or getting the key cards. And once we got all the loot the same route as before, head out the vault door, head down the hallway, take a left to the outside. And now it's a straight shot back to the truck. And this was the expert method of looting the Liberty Hawk Bank stealthily. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe to help the channel grow. If you want to see a funny video, click the video on the left. If you want to see more tutorial videos, click the video on the right. And like always, I hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you in the next video.